In this video, we are going to discuss class 8, English chapter, the model millionaires question and answers. It is going to be a complete notes, full notes video. So it's my suggestion and advice for you all to watch the video till end and do not skip any part of it as it's going to be very important and helpful for you all. And students, if you want the explanation video of this chapter, you can visit the description box for the link. And also the link will be shared in the I button above. And also the video will be shared in the end screen. So you can watch the whole video explanation and understand the complete chapter. So now let's to, uh, discuss the question and answers in complete notes today in this video. But before that, if you're watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell, bell icon so that you get the notification of all such upcoming videos. Do subscribe it and share it with your friends. And uh, one more gentle reminder for you all to subscribe Scorpio Class Hindi channel. In this channel, we are uploading all the Hindi lessons explanation, complete notes video, question and answers, and grammar notes of class 8, 9, and 10. So this channel as well is going to be very helpful and fruitful for you all. So visit the description box, find the link, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Again, the link will be shared in the I button above so that you can directly go from here. So that's about the update, my dear viewers. Now let's get started with the question and answers. So we have first main comprehension. Under that, answer the following questions in two or three sentences each. So first question here is, what sort of man was Yugi Erskine? Answer, Yugi Erskine was a good-looking young man, admired by both men and women. He was a kind man. I never said an unkind word about anyone. He was not very clever and never had any money. Second question. What were the various jobs he took up? Why? Answer. Hoogie worked on the stock exchange later as a tea merchant. Then he tried selling sherry. All this lasted for six months or a little more. He was not clever in earning money. He failed in all his efforts. Question three. What was the condition laid down for Hugi to marry Laura? Answer. Laura's father, Mr. Colonel, laid down a condition that he wanted Hugi to earn 10,000 pounds. Question four. Who was Alan Trevor? What was Trevor doing when Hugi called on him? Answer, Alan Travel was a friend of Hugi. He was a painter and a clever artist. Trevor was almost finishing the full-size picture of a beggar man when Hugi called on him. Next question. How was the model beggar dressed? Answer, the model beggar was an old man, bent, and his face was wrinkled. He wore a brown coat that was all torn and dirty. His boots were patched and well worn. Question 6. What did Hoagie feel the model should get? Why? Answer. Hoagie felt that the model should get some part of Trevor's earning that he gets for the picture because the beggar stood so still that it was very hard to stay in the same position. The beggar had also been working as hard as Alan. Next, question number seven. Why did Hoogie feel sorry for the beggar man? Answer, Hoogie felt sorry for the beggar because he looked lonely and sad. He was an old man, bent, and had a piteous look on his face. Next question eight. What did Hugi give the old beggar man? Answer. Hugi, out of pity for old beggar, gave a sovereign into the beggar's hand. Question nine. What did Alan Trevor tell Hugi when he met him at the Palace Club? Answer. Alan told Hugi that the beggar model was Baron Hosburg, one of the richest men in Europe. The Baron had a house in every capital city 
and ate food in gold plates. He had so much money that he could buy all of London. Question 10. Alan says, he will invest your sovereign for you, Hoogie. How do you think the Baron could have invested the sovereign for Hugi? Answer, the beggar man was none other than Baron Hosberg, one of the richest men in Europe. He might have a number of business firms of his own. He could invest Hugi's money in one of his companies and earn profits. So, my dear students, here this is the first main question and answers. Now, these questions are exactly from your chapters. So, to understand the lesson and the question, you need to visit my previous video. The links have been given in the description and in the i button. Visit and watch the complete explanation. It's in two parts, part one and part two, to understand these questions so that you'll be able to answer it very easily. So, let's move forward. Second main. Answer the following questions in five or six sentences each. First one, that old beggar, as you call him, is one of the richest men in Europe. Name the richest man referred to. How is he described to Hugi? Answer, the richest man is Baden Hosburgh, one of the richest men in Europe. He could buy all London if he wished. He had a house in every capital city. He dined in golden plates. He could also prevent Russia going to war whenever he wanted. Baron was Trevor's great friend. He bought all his pictures. He had asked Trevor to paint him as a beggar and would pay him £2,000 for his work. Next question 2. Describe how Hugi Erskine was able to marry Laura Merton? Answer. Once, when Hugi went to meet his friend Trevor, he found that he was painting the full-size picture of a beggar man. In the corner stood the beggar man, who was old, bent, and had piteous face. Out of sympathy for him, Hugi slipped a sovereign into his hands when Trevor went out and later went away. The beggar man was moved by his kind gestures and inquired about Hugi. Trevor told him everything. The beggar man was Mr. Baron Hosberg, one of the richest men in Europe. He had sent word through a messenger a letter that read, a wedding present to Hugi and Laura from an old beggar. And inside was a check for £10,000. Thereby, Hugi was able to marry Laura. Okay, next question. Bring out the subtle humor in the story, The Model Millionaire. Answer. This story brings out how a gesture of kindness repays one in multiples. Hugi was compassionate and did not worry much about his earnings. When he sees the beggar man posing for the full-size picture that his friend Trevor was painting, he was moved by the beggar man's attire and the piteous face and slips a sovereign into his hands, who was none other than Baron Hosberg, one of the richest men in Europe. This ignorance of Hugi creates humor. Also, when the messenger of Baron comes to his place to give him the envelope in a fit of anxiety Hugi tries to seek apology for slipping a sovereign to one of the richest men all this creates subtle humor in the story next fourth question i gave i have got heaps of old clothes at home do you think he would like any of any of them why his rags are falling to bits said Hugi. But he looks so wonderful in them, said Trevor. I wouldn't paint him in a good suit for anything. However, I'll tell him of your offer. The above instance is an example for subtle humor. Pick out other incidents of humor from the story. Okay, so here you have to find the humorous sentences or incidents of the story, means the funny stories. Okay, which was silly thing which was done by Hoogie. 
and the other characters. So answer, there are five sentences are given. Let's see. He had been a tea merchant, but soon got tired of selling tea. Second, Laura loved him very much and together they made a handsome couple. Of course, neither of them had any money. Third, the old man jumped and a faint smile crossed his lips. Fourth, good heavens, I gave him a sovereign. Fifth, he will invest your sovereign for you and pay you interest. Okay, so these incidents in the story says something about the humor act. Okay, so this is the answer. Now let's move on to the vocabulary. Under that, we have fill in the blank given below with the help of the compound words. Now, what are compound words? There are two different words which are used together to give a different meaning. Those words are known as compound words. So, you have got two words in the bracket. You have to make it as a one word which is used and you have to fill in the blanks. So, first one is full size picture. Second, good looking young man. The third. The old beggar man. And the fourth, the frame maker wanted to speak to Trevor. Okay. So the highlighted and underlined words are the answer for your fill in the blanks. Let, uh, next, let's move on to the master words in column A with the words in column B to make more compound words. Okay. So again, we have compound words. This is directly the answer given over here. You have jumbled answers in column B in your textbook so i have got the just the answers over here so a grand it matches with mother okay grandmother this is the word which we use compound words used together grandmother newspaper milestone bookmark tiebreaker and footpath okay so these are the correct answers which are highlighted here which are shown here so here we come to an end with the complete notes of this answers of this lesson. I hope these answers were helpful and you liked it. If you liked the video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel.